Hello friends, my name is Celeste and I'm part of the behavior support team with the ECE Preschool. We are going to talk about inviting others to play with us and why it is so important. Play is how preschoolers learn, experiment, and solve problems. Play is essential to preschoolers development. Different kinds of play helps preschoolers develop and learn in many different ways such as dramatic play and pretend play, messy play, physical play, songs, books, silly rhymes, and sorting games, and outdoor play. It is important to make friendships and invite others to join us in play. It supports children's emotional and social development. Having friends boosts their happiness, well-being, and self-confidence. It also helps promote a positive outlook on life. Having friends also lessens stress. So we're gonna work on an activity today and it looks like this. If you can go ahead and pull that out of your packet, I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, so we are gonna um, do this activity and it's called inviting others to play. When we're all finished with it, it's going to be our headband that we're going to wear that represents us having friends and playing with them, inviting them, and having friendships. The first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to put my glasses on here, is we're going to take this I am a friend and we're going to cut around the circle. So when you're cutting, Please ask your parents to help you if you need help, because we want to be safe as we're cutting. And we're just going all around the circle and just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And there we are. So here is our little circle that says, I am a friend. We're gonna place that to the side. And then we're gonna take the next sheet right here, which has little squares that has invite a friend to swing with you. So this is a way you can invite a friend to swing. Invite some friends to play ball with you. And then the other one is invite a friend to read with you and invite friends to jump rope. So on this very first one, we have dotted lines. So we're gonna cut along the dotted lines. And when we cut along the dotted lines, it's gonna make a strip. And the strip is gonna become our headband. So here's my first strip. Then here's my second one. I'm gonna cut along the dotted lines again. And I know I've been watching some of you on um, our sites and you are doing a fabulous job cutting on your lines. So there you go, that's my second strip. And then the last strip is just a blank one and we're gonna cut along that one. That is how we're gonna adjust your headband. So there we go, we have the three strips. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these strips that have pictures on them and we're gonna turn them upside down and we're gonna take tape or you can use glue. I just happen to have some tape here because I think it would work a little better since we're doing it on the video because sometimes glue takes a little longer to dry. So, and there we are, there's my first strip. There, the two are put together. Then I'm gonna take my I am a friend circle and I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna place it partially on my strips here and I'm gonna tape the back of it. And then this is what it's gonna look like. So the next one is the very last one. And this is what's gonna make your headband fit your head like so. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna tape it on the side here.
and then I'm gonna bring it around like this and I'm gonna kind of measure my head like this. And then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm gonna tape it along the sides here. And there we go. So it should look like this. So there you go. That is gonna be, I am a friend, little hat you're gonna wear. So thank you for joining me and you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.